We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. I'm today, Faithful Acolytes. We take a look at this. And what this is, is Benito's Habanero Maple Syrup, Habanero Infused, rather. And uh, so this label is a, you can see it's a mess. This did win a Scovia Award in 2015, I guess. Uh, apparently this is from Vermont. <laughs> I can't, th this, this label is, I, I don't dig this. So we have organic Vermont syrup and habanero peppers, and then we have an address in the ingredients. <sighs> well, we're not super concerned with the label. It's just, this is poorly done, but... What really matters is what's in it. You can see it is definitely not your commercial syrup. The pure maple syrup is extremely runny, which is what this is. It's it's quite watery. There's a lot of the really slow flowing stuff like Mrs. Butterworth and so on. That stuff is just heavily processed. It's almost like what it has to do with maple syrup is almost like the maple frosting you see on those on those bars like those donut bars sometimes which is next to nothing but you can see it's very light very pale can't really pick out any bits of pepper in it i mean it, it looks it's very transparent just it looks just basically like a syrup should so without any further ado Very nice pure maple syrup flavor with a definitely a nice current of heat. Like the heat reads through really well. Not not really so much the flavor, just more so the heat. It tastes more just like a pure maple syrup. Really, really excellent. It's the it's I I would sometimes get this maple syrup from Canada because I really like that sort of dark and earthy tone to it and that's what this has as well uh vermont grade vermont grade a dark i like the darker ones it's got that little bitter undercurrent to it which this one also has quite a bit but this is extremely well done it, it's i don't know i would give a, a legit one it's got a burst of heat and then tapers off on it almost immediately but it, it definitely is a default one but let's let's get into a little bit and see if we can get it a little bit higher uh, and see just how it reads. What I have here is basically just some uh, over, over meaty, well, actually I guess they're over hard uh, eggs. And I keep syrup on hand and this is really the major thing I keep before. I don't eat a lot of pancakes, I don't eat a lot of waffles, I don't eat a lot of fresh toast, none of the carby stuff. But I have it a, a lot with just, just fried eggs. And I fry them, you know, with just a, a little bit of Pam, usually, and that's about it. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of cheese on them. I didn't this time. No hash browns, no, no starchy stuff. But that's it, really. Just the eggs, and then I'll just knock this on them. Sometimes I'll have a meat to go with them as well. And uh, there is a ghost pepper version of this. So when I do that one, I'll have... Probably something more approaching a normal breakfast, but but this is really, I keep syrup on hand strictly for this purpose, not really the other stuff so much. Just to have it with eggs. Nothing on it, just a little salt, a little pepper, cracked pepper, kosher salt, that's it. This is just excellent.
I obviously started with a higher quality syrup here. You know, that's the kind of thing you take, you start with quality ingredients. And that's really what pushes you along towards a quality end product. If you watch cooking shows, you see it time and time again. Cooking shows I really go back and forth on. Sometimes I'll watch them heavily. Sometimes it might be months before I watch another one. Really, really good though. I like this a lot. It's not super bitey. Just enough there to kind of let you know that you're not dealing with a garden variety, super gloppy, sugary syrup. I don't like those. And I mean, we we've seen me make um, syrups and dipping sauces and stuff like that numerous times by adding hot sauce. You clearly don't need to do that with this. I mean, that's to me, peppers and, and syrup is just a great, great combination. I've done a few sauces where there is maple syrup in the ingredients. And, but this one is just maple syrup and peppers. I and mean, you can see I've, I've whipped through half the bottle. I like this quite a lot. So this is a winner for me. I would, I'm going to give it a, a legit one. It's not really hotter than that, but there is a nice build over time uh, to the sauce that I really, really am pretty fond of. It's going to be interesting because it's, it's a little bit on the border of being right at that point where to go too much further over would be too much. But I also have the ghost pepper version of this, so I'm really excited to see how that's going to go. But I don't eat syrup. Honestly, it's super infrequent that I even have this much. It's just not something that I have a lot with, with eggs. I mean, you've seen, you know, if you've seen some of the other videos, you see me make my breakfast burritos. I have, that's where I have eggs, I think probably in the main setting now. But sometimes it, it'll be just as easy to fry some up. Sometimes I'll fry some up and throw them in ramen. You know, I hard boil a certain amount of them, but hard boiling them and this is not ever going to work, obviously. <laughs> and uh, putting in the breakfast burrito, like with the ham, the ham burrito, I think would be kind of interesting. But generally at that point, I'm wanting hot sauce. I'm not wanting super sweet. So... By themselves, that is my preference. I don't like hot sauce with eggs like that. I like I like something sweeter like this. And of course, this came from a restaurant where you know you go have a breakfast and you get you get your pancakes, your bacon, your sausage, your eggs, your hash browns. Well, if I like to have ham and or bacon with uh, syrup, and of course with pancakes and stuff like that, if they happen to be on the same plate, you're gonna get some interaction there, which is I think really where I came into this. I don't mind these on hash browns, but I don't necessarily I don't put it on the hash browns. I, if it's there, I don't object, but I don't put it there. Uh, as far as the other stuff, sausage, any of the meats are really good with syrup. I like that a lot. So eggs and those, basically everything except for the hash browns, but even the hash browns I don't mind that much. So Definitely, I like this. This is, this is, how much? I don't remember how much I paid for this thing, but uh, this is a, a very, very well done syrup. So uh, if you come across this, uh, Benito's, either the Habanero, I haven't tried the ghost pepper yet, look for that video at some point on this channel. But uh, definitely the Habanero, I would say is a winner as far as I'm concerned, so. But anyway, there we have it. The Benito's Habanero Infused Maple Syrup. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.